run game, and it was ugly. And it was ugly for his quarterback, ugly for his offense. He struggled even calling plays. When you have a player as dynamic as Saquon Barkley, irrespective of positions, he's shown you what he's capable of. And to your point, at every position he's playing, I mean, he's making insane plays. He's keeping this, this team. You, if you're going to bring in another quarterback or keep Daniel Jones, either way, that piece makes this offense go. Hmm. Yeah, committing to Saquon at this point, I understand what you're saying. Yep. I would love to the commit to Saquon at sense. this point. Yeah. However, he's just coming off an injury, and he's a running back, and they get hit a lot. And they just making that much commitment to a guy who I don't know if he's going to be there is, is hard and at a position that – the point is he's having an incredible season. They're winning games, but does anybody think that the Giants are a real threat? This is and a, it's a hard thing to commit to right now. This is a team that needs a lot. Right. And uh, Saquon is having a Aaron Judge type, Lamar Jackson, bet on me type of season thus far. He is every single week. His price keeps going up. Yeah. Somebody should pay that price. <laughs> but I don't think you can ask a new GM who literally is tasked with fixing yeah. all of Dave Gettleman's mess. <laughs> and then a yeah. the new head coach. Yeah. And you're saying, hey, keep this guy at this exorbitant price. Like, Saquon deserves the money. Yeah. But he should get it elsewhere. And, and what is the money? Is that, so if you want to make the argument that no matter how good a running back is, you cannot justify drafting him number two, which is where Dave Gettleman drafted right. him, then what exactly is the money? Do you know what I'm asking? Do you understand what I'm asking? I, I get if you someone's going to pay it, maybe they should pay it. But what is who, it? Who was the last team to do this? I, I mean, the, the Panthers come up in mind. The Titans, they, they only Titans. locked up. They only locked him up for two years. They're Henry for two years. And the Titans haven't also haven't been like a huge success story. You look at the the um, Panthers. It hasn't really worked out. So I think well, that's the, the, the that's quarterbacks kind of hurt them. Right? right, I understand. So I guess <laughs> the flexibility to me might be more valuable. If you have a roster that's like bereft of talent and you want to rebuild it, the flexibility might be more valuable than uh, as great as Saquon is, a player like Saquon uh, on your roster. And a team who has the space and is making a run, I think Adding a valuable piece like Saquon. Remember when the Jets gave Le'Veon a four-year? Yes, I remember yeah. that. And they won back-to-back Super Bowls. And, and, uh, <laughs> and then their coach, Adam Gase, decided he was going to make a point that he didn't want him in the first place. Yeah, and he basically. barely used him. Yep. Look, look, let me ask you, thank you for bringing that up, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> delightful memory. All kidding aside, yeah. the Giants may not have their starter or their backup quarterback this weekend. Their options are people like Davis Webb and, and Jake Fromm. With all due respect to them, mm -hmm. could an NFL team actually try to win a game playing the entire game in Wildcat with Saquon Barkley running it. Could, to do it once, could they do it one they time? Can, they could try it. Absolutely not. Could not work. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's not their best if option. You, if you 11 on 11 no football. Chance. If you would have asked me 10 years ago, is it possible? Yes, because the way defense has played pocket passers, with as many dynamic playmakers there are at quarterback right now, every defense has packages in to stop that guy from running. Yeah. That will be an ugly experiment. You will have 10 dudes on the line of scrimmage, yeah. one dude in the back just cherry picking. Oh. It will get ugly. Quick. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna run punt rush. Yeah, yeah we're gonna run punt rush every time until you show me that Saquon can yeah, complete right. some passes. But they might make a couple plays here, some misdirection, wishbone and actually go for it. Yeah. Uh, no. Saquon can throw the ball. No. He can throw it. Uh, listen, he's if there. If Saquon can, maybe he gets a big contract in, in New York. Oh, I really like what now. we're talking about. I'm not convinced that isn't their best option. <laughs> Vocal um, about in before contracts was even brought up about how I feel about this place, um, where I want my legacy to be in this place, um, and I want to be a giant for life. And like I said, I've, I've been vocal about that. So, you know, if, if the conversation gets brought up again, then we'll go from there. All right, you guys, we heard out of the horse's mouth himself. Saquon Barkley has stated that he would like to be a New York giant for life. And uh, you can't blame him. You know, when you get drafted by a team, you normally want to stay with that team unless circumstances changes. They don't have the uh, the available funds to be able to pay you, and you have to be able to take your talent somewhere else. And I understand, you know, Saqu Saquon Barkley, being a native New Yorker, would love to stay and play for his home team for the rest of his career, and I can't blame him. I believe that the New York Giants have almost close to $56 million in cap space, so they do have some money to play with to be able to sign Saquon Barkley. But the biggest thing for him is, what is a fair deal for Saquon Barkley? Is he going to be looking for a contract sort of similar to Le'Veon Bell? What he signed a couple years ago, I think Le'Veon got like $52 million or something like that. And then I think uh, with Christian McCaffrey, the deal that he got, I think he gets annually 
16 million a season. I think that's making Christian McCaffrey one of the highest paid. Well, I think he is the highest paid running back. And then Dalvin Cook would probably be somewhere in the middle. I think he gets close to 12 or 13 million a season. So I definitely think that he's going to be anywhere between there, between Dalvin Cook and maybe uh, Christian McCaffrey, somewhere in there. Now, the Giants probably don't want to give him 16 to 17 million. Uh, they'll probably be looking to try to give him maybe anywhere between, I'm going to just say anywhere between 10 and maybe 15, somewhere in there. They may be trying to give him, you know, it depends on how many years he wants. Do we want a four-year deal, five-year deal, however they can work it out. But what is a fair deal for Saquon Barkley? Now, we know that he's had uh, a couple injuries so far in his career. And uh, we know that that plays a part in it as well. He's still young, though. I think he's only 25 years old. So Saquon Barkley definitely is one of the top uh, running backs in um, the NFL. And, you know, what is the fair market for a player in the caliber of a Saquon Barkley? You know, will, will the money play a part in him leaving the Giants as well? Will that play a significant role? Because money talks. And if the right person comes with the right amount of money and the right amount of uh, dollars, maybe that may make Saquon Barkley want to change his mind and ultimately not sign with that uh, sign, resign with the uh, Giants. Um, and then you know that there's going to be other teams uh, that's going to try to slide into his DMs and definitely try to get him. Now, the team that I think that could go after him if they wanted him. And if they wanted to pair these guys up would be the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears will have way over $118 million in cap space. The Bears have the room. You know, um, I don't know if they're going what they want to do with uh David Montgomery. I pretty much heard that they want to re-sign Montgomery back to the team. And uh they already have uh Khalil Herbert on the team. So if he if David Montgomery was to sign somewhere else. They still would have uh, Khalil Herbert as their uh, number one running back to slide right into that position. But if they had Saquon Barkley, man, that team would be definitely dangerous with him and Justin Fields. That would give Justin Fields uh, another weapon. And that would take pressure off Justin Fields if he was to sign with the Chicago Bears. I think that that would be uh, an awesome thing to be able to sign with the Bears. Now, I'm not saying that Saquon is going to do that. And I'm not saying that the Chicago Bears are going to spend the money on Saquon Barkley because they still need to get probably two pass rushers, maybe a a defensive tackle or something like that um, because they don't have uh, Khalil Mack anymore and they don't have uh, Robert Quinn anymore. So maybe they may be looking to uh, uh, grab a couple guys in the draft, maybe a Jalen Carter, maybe a, uh, a Will Anderson or someone of that magnitude. So they may not want to spend the money at the running back position at all. And from my understanding, the Bears pretty much do want to bring back Montgomery. So um, I don't think Saquon Barkley is in the plans for them, but they do have the cap space. Now, another team that has cap space, that Saquon Barkley. And we took, we're looking at a guy from a realistic approach. The Atlanta Falcons could go out to Saquon Barkley. That would be definitely a good thing for the Falcons. They would, it would give them a star running back to go along with a young uh, quarterback in uh, Desmond Ritter and uh, to go alongside and play with Kyle Pitts and also Drake London. So that team would have a nice little tandem over there as well. So that's another realistic uh, place that he can, he can sign with. He can't, I don't think he'll go to Cincinnati because Cincinnati pretty much has Joe Mixon. Then New England, they could spend the money, but I think New England, they don't really focus on running back like that and and spending a lot of money on running backs. So I don't think that the New England Patriots would be a team for him. Uh, Houston has the rookie running back, uh, Damian Pierce. So I don't think he'll go there. I don't think he's going to go to Seattle because Seattle has Kenneth Walker as their running back now. Even with uh, uh, Rashard Penny going down, I think that uh, Kenneth Walker will be the starting running back going forth for Seattle. And then with Baltimore, you got J.K. Dobbins. And you got a couple other running backs over there as well. So um, only uh, maybe the Raiders may, um, if they don't want to bring back uh, Josh Jacobs, but I don't think that the Raiders would do that. You know what I'm saying? Go and get Saquon Barkley when they don't even want to pay their own running back who led the league in rushing 
uh, Josh Jacobs. So maybe if you're looking at the Raiders doing it, I don't know. And then when you look at the Indianapolis Colts, the Colts really don't need him as well because they have one of the best running backs in the league in Jonathan Taylor. So they don't really need Saquon Barkley. I believe that the uh, Colts have over uh, 20 million in cap space, so they don't really need him. And then uh, when you go to Arizona Cardinals, now Cardinals could use a Saquon Barkley uh, type of running back, but at the same time they did re-sign uh, James Conner. So pretty much James Conner is the RB1 there. And I don't think that the Cardinals are willing to spend a boatload of money on the running back position when they have different needs. Probably you need to get some offensive linemen and things of that nature. Then when you go to KC, you never know what KC wants to do. They could uh, opt in and grab a Saquon Barkley just to bolster their team, just like uh, San Francisco did with uh, trading uh, for the rights of Christian McCaffrey. They could, they could want to go out to Saquon Barkley, but I don't think that they would do it. I think that um, they would probably try to go uh, a cheaper route as far as getting a cheaper running back out there. Uh, maybe they would go out to Miles Sanders or something. I, I don't know. But at the same time, then when you look at Denver, Denver is a place that he could go to. Um, they don't really have a star running back in Denver, really. And definitely Denver could be a lot better than what they were this year. I don't know what happened to Russell Wilson this year. He kind of fell off a little bit. I'm not going to say he's done, but he did not have a great season in his first year in Denver. But Denver um, really don't have a lot of money like that. So they may not be willing to do it. They got, they got $13 million in cap space. Uh, maybe a team like Washington. Washington really doesn't need them. They have a young running back that they drafted last year in Brian Robinson. And then they have Gibson still on the team. And then you know that the New York Jets, they don't need them because they got a uh, Brees Hall. And we know that Brees Hall was pretty much playing phenomenal football until he got hurt. So they don't really need him in New York. Dallas doesn't really need him because they might be trying to sign back their own running back in Tony uh, Pollard. A lot of teams could be looking at Tony Pollard as well because he had a phenomenal season this year with Dallas. So definitely he's another running back out there that people could be looking at. And then you look at Pittsburgh, don't need him in Pittsburgh because you have Najee. You look at Carolina. Carolina really don't need them. Uh, they could use them, but they don't really need them because they have uh, Chuba Herbert and they got Foreman down there. So they really don't need them. Buffalo could be a team that you could see he could possibly go to, but I don't think that Buffalo wants to spend a lot of money. And plus they're negative uh, five million in cap space. So I don't think that Buffalo would be looking to try to spend a huge bag for Saquon Barkley and then Cleveland. Don't they already have Nick Chubb? So uh, Cleveland would not be a team for Saquon Barkley. Uh, the Rams, Rams don't mind being in a hole. So maybe the Rams might go at them. Never know. Uh, they always looking for a running back. Uh, they've been looking for a good running back since since uh, Todd Gurley. So you never know because they tried to get rid of Cam Anchors and I think they uh, they did release uh, Henderson. So you just never know, man, what the team is looking for, but. The Rams will probably uh, definitely try to uh, get Saquon Barkley on their, on their roster. And then when you go to Minnesota, you got Dalvin Cook. So Minnesota doesn't need him. If you go to Miami, Miami has a run by committee. They could use him, but I don't think Miami would do it. They have uh, uh, they got Muster and they got uh, Wilson down there. That's uh, a run by committee. Green Bay, uh, they could use him, but no. Green Bay has uh, Dylan and they have uh, Aaron Jones. And then when you think about the Chargers, definitely the Chargers could be a team that he could go to as well. But they got Austin Eckler. Maybe they want to go away from Eckler, but I pretty much doubt that. They would probably stay with Eckler. Maybe Jacksonville. Nope, Jack can't, can't say Jacksonville because they have a young running back in Travis Etienne. And you definitely got to say no to Tennessee because you got Derrick Henry. And then you, when you got New Orleans, uh, they have Alvin Kamara. So probably that would not be a good landing spot for Saquon Barkley. And then when you go Tampa Bay, maybe Tampa Bay could be a place that he could go to, but you just never know, man. So don't remember if I said Detroit Lions or not. I don't think that the Lions would go out to Saquon Barkley because they have their own free agent that they may want to sign back and Jamal Williams, who pretty much uh, broke Barry Sanders' record this season with 17 touchdowns on the ground, and he had over 1,000 yards rushing. 
And I don't think that they will be willing to play Saquon Barkley big time money in Detroit. So I don't think that Detroit would be a place for Saquon Barkley unless the Lions decided, hey, we want elite talent on this roster and we're willing to do whatever it takes to get a running back like Saquon Barkley on our roster. So pretty much as you look at a lot of the teams in the NFL, so the New York Giants could resign back Saquon Barkley for the right deal. And then I definitely think that the Chicago Bears have more than enough cap space to sign a running back like Saquon Barkley. And then the Falcons could also go out to Saquon Barkley. With most of the other teams, um, it would probably be a reach for these teams. But they could. It's a few teams on here that could probably uh, sign Saquon if they wanted to go after him. But pretty much I think that those are the three teams that I think that he could land with. He could land with, uh, he could stay in um, New York and stay with the Giants. He could go to the Chicago Bears and be a part of the Bears, or he could end up signing with the Atlanta Falcons. You just never know what's going to happen, but hopefully the New York Giants will be able to work out a deal with Saquon Barkley that will make him um, a giant for life. He wants to stay with the New York Giants, and definitely I can't blame Saquon Barkley for wanting to uh, stay with his hometown team and just ride it out with the team that drafted you. So definitely, man, he got the talent. The talent is there. Uh, this year, he's with, he was phenomenal on the ground with 1,300 yards rushing. I thought that he was going to end up being the leading rusher of the season, but some kind of way, Josh Jacob, Josh Jacobs came out of nowhere. All right, you guys, this is the Raw Podcast, and I'll be back to you soon with another video. I'm out of here.